good morning all of you myself kuldeep sharma faculty in the department of mechanical engineering i am taking the lab, uh, lab on the matlab we today we discuss about the introduction of the matlab uh, in introduction we comprise about what is the matlabs what is the basic history of the matlab how it is different from the c language and for a mechanical point of view what does the application of the matlab is all about these are the basic thing we discuss in the in introduction part then we will come on the basic how this uh, uh, platform work that is how we in the gui interface what the different part uh, how we write the code on the matlabs how there has there are some window who uh, when when we where we can find out we, these are the codings for the matlabs and there are some data variables how we define the variables what the variable we use to so, there are a lot of features we discuss in this matlab as well so first uh, matlab what is matlab uh, basically matlab is, is is a combination of the matrix laboratories uh, actually matlab is the is, is, is combination of these all had features of the matrix labs it actually may uh, for a like a c we use a, use a compiler compiler has all the uh, coding uh, that is and compiled by the compiler in the case of the matlab it is every line is in, interpreted that's why language is interpreted language it is almost most of the matlabs application is for a scientific r and d purpose for engineering development so that's why this and that this is the programming environment is scientific environment for that you need lot of mathematical calculation lot of mathematical application you need to know you need to know what are the different uh, uh, fundamental variables what are the different mathematic integrations you need to know and this is what matlab has a beauty is every every engineering problem can be converted into mathematical problem that can also resolve through the manipulation of the matrix we can convert this mathematical problem in the matrix forms and we can find out the different variables from these matrices this is the beauty of that it makes very easy to the very lengthier complicated mathematical equations and it have a great visualization capability uh, it basically what what matlab is all about is if we had uh, some data we don't have the graphical uh, analysis we don't have the actual visualization of the data but this matlab provide uh, a capability to how you can visualize your data you can find out the different different dimension of the database okay the feature of the matlab is you had a there are a lot of built in functions it is very much user friendly and you can directly use lot of mathematical functions you want to be inverse of any matrix it can provide in a single line solution you not need to be write lot of code like c or any other languages it is inbuilt function in there are a lot of inbuilt function in this the matlab library you, and you can find out uh, and you can resolve your problem mathematical problem so and these all function are very easy and simple to use and very user friendly environment so you can solve any mathematical equation from this matlabs or oh, now come on the topic what is what is matlab is what is matlab is matlab is uh, is generally what is uh, what it does is basically it actually may it does is uh, it is analyzing the data you have a number of data from any any engineering problems or any uh, scientific problem you had a lot of data like in your machine learning or your your uh, your there are a lot of uh, things in data science there are a lot of data but you find out the data from your any applications and what it does it develop a algorithm on the basis of these data and by help of this uh, uh, algorithm you you can model you can model a, a solution of these all data and you can apply these model in your applications this is the beauty of this matlab is all about the so what is matlab uh, matlab has an at the language it is a app is the built in functions is the combination all of the things and it multiple approach to arrive at a solution it has different ways to find out the solution matlab matlab have let's have some idea about the research 
is deployed in the enterprises application it enabled the devices as well as is integrating the simulations and model based design suppose uh, i am investing in the project that is more than 200 crores and what i want to do is first i want to make a product before investing so much on the product you can model and you can analyze your model and the matlab has you have just data of this mod product if you have a data it can give a model on basis of that data and you can analyze the final things on the basis of these model so investing too much on any product it is al always is very much risky so the this matlab has very much useful of engineering and their uh, scientific applications so it it have a give co concrete a, a blueprint of the product so you can further you can develop your product you can actually design and implement of the product on the basis of this models analysis models results okay now there are we already before going to something we, what are the different uses in general life what have a different uses of the matlab is basically matlab have a million of engineer and scientist in this industry or academia they uses matlabs the use of the matlab is range of applications like including the deep learning or your machine learning we heard lot of things these are the new buzzword of the now industries everyone asking about and uh, telling about the, what is the deep learning what are the machine learning and there are in electronics there are signal processing communication image processing video processing control system in the mechanical the vehicle dynamics aerospace industry fluid dynamics computer slip fluid dynamics and the strength of material and analysis of the material and the material behavior there is another research very important area that is finite element analysis where you, it is very useful and give very exact results so matlab is very useful for, and and this is a applications it is how it is different from this this uh, for for my for any engineer tick how it is different everyone understand what is matlab what are the advantages of the matlabs what are the basic feature of the matlab okay what are the in this cutting uh, technologies what to have a speciality of this matlab is what are the speciality of matlab is is it is the implementation and testing of algorithm very very easy compared to other platforms it develop a computational code easily it debugs easily and uses the large database very very easily that is uh, uh, means you had a lot of database it can provide very user friendly solutions okay so it is also very helpful and very easy for engineer point of view it processing still images and creating simulation simulation videos very easily and that is for coding purpose the codes are very simple it can be very user friendly and the, the grass graphical user interface is also very easy so it is very easy for an understand to each and every engineers and we can perform very extensive database and visualize them very easily okay now that part is that very much important part there are lot of lot of person had a confusion about what the c what the matlab how the matlab is different from the c language so the, the basic key difference when we come on the basic of the differences i am right now discussing of the basic of the difference later on i'm elaborating each and every part separately as well how c works how matlab works and how they are actually application point of how they different from each other so basic difference key difference in the matlab is matlab has is interface computing environment whereas the c language has a high level general purpose language theek hai it is a programming language furthermore matlab is mostly used for engineering and scientific task and whereas c is for a general purposes like and the matlab is paid software it is just a paid software theek hai and the c is open source software you can everyone can use the c language the so matlab's environment help us to perform mathematical computational applications such as solving differential equations calculating integration solving polynomials it provide the various commands to perform the transform such as fourier laplace inverse uh, you 
and to create different plots curves there are a lot of things we can do in this a lot of charts and we can on handle on that whereas on the other hand c is high level general purpose programming language it is used for developing enabled systems embedded systems sorry database operating systems compilers and network drivers so c had a different style of doing work it is really working on the system programming language it's a beautiful system programming language still has very relevant sam matlab has very much scientific language engineering solution language engineering application language so they had both have a different aspect of their working now come on before come on the matlab before coming on more the part what what matlab is all about is matlab is an interactive environment for numerical computation programming data visualization it is a, an expensive software package uh, its math work is the developer of the matlab matlab is developed by the math math works and because it is basically based on the old solution of the mathematical problems but every engineering problem had as some mathematical form and these mathematical form can be resolved from the math works tool matlab okay and it follow the syntax language is almost follow the same syntax like a c but it has some basic difference in both of the things theek hai matlab mainly help to perform the various mathematical tasks user can perform the matrix vector calculations solve algebra equations differential equation integrations and the transforms laplace and fourier series everyone know there are a lot of mathematical equation can resolved from this even we can create graph plot lot of things while possibly matlab's algorithm with external application like we can collaborate it matlab and the c language as well so uh, this is where we we discuss all the things okay okay where is what is c language when come on the basic of the c language what c language is all about is c language is a high level programming it is foundation of programming language for many other language such as java python the main paradigm of the c support to structure programming therefore it is language uses control flows repetitions functions c is a compiler based language where is the matlab is the transpet transpiler based language uh, so the compiler reads the entire code before converting into the machine language it is fast language com comparing to interpreted language such as python php it does not provide the automatic memory allocations to like java that's why whenever we we had need a some c program we need to be allocate the memory for the variables for the different platforms for using the c language is uh, embedded systems socket programming operating systems okay now the fundamentally what are the basic understandable difference between the c and the matlabs matlab is an interactive computing environment while c is high level general purpose programming language the math works organizing develop matlabs danis richies develop the c bas lab developed and it further matlab is an commercial software it is a commercial whereas we already discussed that c is open soft open source software so everyone can use the c and make a code in that for a matlab if you are using the matlab you need to take license for that and what what is the basic coding point of view what are the difference in the matlab you can directly write some code that that's so x equals to 2 so it allocate a memory for the x equals to 2 and defined x is a variable and have a default variable of suppose x is integer so it default memory allocate wherever you write x equals to 2 in the c language it give a error because first you need to define what is x everything is a computer is understand you give to instruction for that in matlab the system is more smart and more user friendly compared to c language so this is the programming point of view the basic difference between these two languages for a mechanic uh, now come on the how matlab is useful for me mechanical engineers for my point of view mechanical engineer had a lot of lot of things need to learn from the matlab that is matlab is very useful for mechanical engineers 
it need matlab for the security of the problem in the control system every vehicle have a very much important integrated part is control and for a security of the vehicle you need to be designed very good control system so that is for matlab you can it is help to design your control systems in any automotive sectors uh, mechanical vibrations every uh, uh, any machine have a some vibrations how you can read the data of vibrations how you can minimize these vibrations and how you can and save your energy losses due to the vibrations these these things can be can be you betterly understand from this uh, matlab is or matlab is also helpful in this uh, computational fluid dynamics suppose uh, that analysis of the uh, any uh, aeroplanes uh, uh, designing of the uh, aerodynamics of any uh, aerospace industry you you need to understand these parameters of the matlab so first is very important for a mechanical for a designing of any structures uh, for first designing of an structure you can analyze the model of the matlab on a matlab and you can finalize it is be safe for a point uh, for a safety purpose so i think it's a good for the first lecture next lecture we will discuss about the what are the different matlabs uh, matlabs uh, uh, desktop versions how it is the environment of the matlab how gui works and these are different things we will discuss in the next lecture thank you thank you for everyone